In this video, we'll be showing you how to use and set up the XP tablet that can be used during your ASCO lessons. From the smaller box, the cables and items you will need to use to connect the tablet to the laptop will be the black cylinder that contains the stylus, the USB-C cable and the power cable. To connect the tablet to the laptop, you will firstly need to place the power cable into the back of the tablet and remembering to place the plug into the power socket. Following this, also place the USB-C cable into the back of the tablet. Here's a closer view of where the cables need to go. Finally, attach the cover that will hide the cables. Once the cables have been connected, take the other side of the USB-C cable and connect it to the laptop. Then power up the XP tablet by pressing the power button located on the top. The tablet will turn on and the screen from the laptop will duplicate onto the tablet. To make sure that the laptop and tablet act as two screens, press the Windows button and P together and change the settings from duplicate to extend. To ensure that the position of the screens are correct, right click on the desktop and click on display settings. You will now be able to rearrange the displays by moving the screen, number one, to the position of your choice. Screen one represents your laptop and screen two represents the tablet. Once happy, click on apply. The position of the laptop and tablet is your preference. The tablet will act as your whiteboard where you can annotate on your presentations and the laptop will be used to view and to watch your students. The laptop could be pushed behind the tablet or can be positioned to the side. Whatever position you choose to use, please make sure that you rearrange the displays within the display settings. During your ASCO lessons, the laptop will be used to access Microsoft Teams and to host your online session. Before a lesson is due to start, initiate the call on the laptop and admit the students that will be waiting in the lobby. The students will then be seen via their webcams on your laptop screen. The content used during your online sessions, for example, a PowerPoint, class notebook or website, will need to be dragged from the laptop across to the tablet. Click on the title bar of the presentation with a mouse and drag across to the tablet. For the students to view your presentations, you will need to share the tablet screen. Click on the share icon within the call on your laptop and share the tablet, which will be the second option on the share tray. A red border will surround the tablet, meaning that it's being shared. Finally, click on the small window on your laptop screen to maximize the call window in order to see the students. To begin annotating and making notes on a PowerPoint presentation on the tablet, firstly, begin the presentation and use the stylus to start writing on the tablet. To change the pen type on the presentation, Hover the stylus on the bottom left hand corner of your presentation where you will be able to choose your writing tool. These include different coloured pens, highlighters and an eraser. The arrow keys on your laptop can be used to move the presentation forward or backwards. 
The same principle applies to OneNote class notebook. Open the application and drag across onto your tablet. Use the draw function on the top of class notebook to annotate and make notes. Similar to PowerPoint, you have options to use different color pens, different colored highlighters, and an eraser. There are also further options within class notebook, including adding shapes and changing the background. For more information, please contact Airskull by email.